What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be taking a look back at the 1.16 update trailer and we're going to be going over what was in the trailer and what actually came out in the actual game. We're doing this in preparation for the new updates coming out this year, the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update part 1 and the 1.18 Caves and Cliffs update part 2. I really hope they change the name of at least one of those. But anyway, we're going to look at this trailer and just analyze it and see what came out. Just why not for the fun of it. If you guys enjoyed this video, we'll take a look back at some of the other updates that have come out before and we'll do kind of the same thing and just have some fun with it. These animation trailers are amazing and I really love watching them. So it's fun to just break it down and see what's actually in the game compared to the trailers. So first up, we see Minecraft Steve and Alex going through the uh, portal and it looks like in the trailer they found a random one of these portals. And honestly, for me, this was a great addition to the game. Being able to find these portal remains uh, just out in the wild, they're pretty rare still, so it's not like you're stumbling across them too much. And they have, you know, a little bit of loot, but nothing too crazy that's game breaking. So for me, this was a great addition and something fun to find in the world because I'm always excited when I see a structure or anything else in the world while I'm exploring around. So as we saw in the trailer, they go through the portal and the first thing they see is the Crimson and the Warped Forest, two of the new biomes in the Nether update. What they didn't show off was the Basalt Deltas or the Soul Sand Valley, two of the other biomes that have been added, but they don't look as cool and I definitely see why they featured these two in the trailer because they are so much different and definitely the appealing looking ones of the new update. The Crimson Forest especially are where you can find most of the new mobs including the Hoglin and the Piglin. Uh, these mobs are definitely some of the biggest changes to the Nether the piglin you can trade gold with and the hoglin you can acquire food from. These hoglins though are dangerous and definitely something you're going to want to watch out for in the nether because they do pack a punch when they hit you. Something they didn't show off however is the new piglin brute which you can find in the bastions which was another thing they didn't show off in the trailer. I really would have liked to seen a bastion in the trailer but unfortunately we didn't get to see that. Considering how many times uh, Steve and Alex died while they were in the nether it would have been definitely hilarious if we saw them trying to go through a bastion as well. A lot of the trailer focused on the piglin, which is definitely very important because these are huge new features to the game, especially with the trading system and how they react to gold. Uh, of course, if you're wearing gold armor, you're completely fine, which they showed off in the trailer. And if you throw them gold, they will throw you things back. Unfortunately, most of this is junk, but you can get, you know, leather, uh, decoration blocks, and even ender pearls from these traits, so they are definitely useful. One of the new blocks featured heavily in this trailer was the respawn anchor. Personally, I have not used this once, but it is a very cool feature which you can now use to respawn in the nether, and it'll spawn you right back on this block, and you can charge it up with a glowstone. The way they showed it off in the update trailer was very funny with Minecraft Steve and Alex dying right next to it, and then continuing to die until the respawn anchor ran out. Definitely a very cool feature and something I'm going to have to use more later on. 
Another new block that they didn't show off is the lodestone. You can use a compass on a lodestone and your compass will always point at that lodestone now. So it is very useful for finding your way around and getting your way back to your portal. They didn't show this off in the trailer and I can see why as it's not going to be a very appealing uh, piece in that animation. The final piece that earned a big spot in the trailer is the netherite armor which of course is something they have to show off in an update like this because it is very important to uh, the new world of Minecraft and something that looks very cool in that animation. Netherite has become something that everybody tries to find now and they did a great job of adding this into the game. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, definitely something very different for our channel, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, definitely be sure to subscribe. ton of different Minecraft content, so be sure to check it all out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.